Alrighty y'all, welcome back. Out here, doing the last little ride before work. Figured I'd uh, at least get up, talk a little bit. Hopefully make a little, uh, just a little update video on uh, what all I got done and what's going on. So, um, like I said, did the tail of the dragon. Did pretty good. I was pretty happy with the bike, at least this one. And um, I said I came back, made a few small adjustments once I got back to the house. I got a uh, adjustable front motor mount because it's like um, the stock motor mount's fixed, and what it does is it'll twist your geometry of the back tire a little bit one way or to the left or the right instead of keeping them perfectly straight because uh, these Harleys are uh, especially the baggers are uh, rubber mounted and then the front motor mount is what uh, does all the alignment because the motors connect the transmission and transmission is uh, where the swing arm connects to and then it's just held onto the frame by uh, some rubber blocks and like two bolts so most of uh, your alignment for the rear wheel at least is coming off of um, your front motor mount and since the stock one's rigid it's just one piece you only have that one thing you just hope it's close enough to work and it was it was it's pretty close um, so what I've been doing is I cheaped out and I bought the uh, the power James uh, the cheap Chinese Amazon one because uh, the one I wanted to buy was out of stock and uh, I was like well this will probably work and it will with a caveat instead uh, for the adjustable link you're supposed to be able to turn the middle piece and it'll either widen it out or shorten it up however on this one they're both right-handed thread so when you turn the middle piece it, it just moves the, the middle piece just moves left to right it doesn't actually extend or uh, shorten it up so if you move the middle piece you, you literally made no adjustment so you have to take the end one off and turn it around so it makes it a lot harder to adjust and uh, doesn't surprise me because the Chinese people the guys running the factories they'll literally look at a part they'll be like oh I know how to make that they'll make it they'll make something that looks like it same dimensions everything the same but like in this case like they didn't put a left-handed thread so uh, while it will work it doesn't work like it's intended to you have to take the whole end out spin it around hope you get it right so it's not as, it's nowhere near as good and um, I need to write a review on that and basically just say uh, this isn't like it needs to be but I mean it'll work and it's it's half the price everybody else's so uh, I'll probably rock it until unless I'm not happy with it or I can't get it just right in which case I'll just buy the right part like I should have done to start with um, I think uh, Ratty Fab was the one I wanted to buy and it was out of stock so I said well I'll try this and see if this would be good enough and it's it's subpar it's just not 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 like it should be and I, I knew it wasn't gonna be as good and I bought it anyway so that, that's my fault um, you also had the true track one um, I like ready fab just because he uh, a little bit smaller shop one man show or whatever and like I said he's big into the building his own bikes and stuff and riding them so I'd rather support him Not that he, there's one anything wrong with either or other. I mean, it's a simple part, but like I said, it's nice just having people that'll make it for you. Like I said, it's like it's because like the bike will slightly pull one direction or the other. when it's not set up right so it's like like I say you really notice it like when you get off the ground or going through a corner you get like that little like wobble 
like I said right now, you, this is just how I generally like test to see if it's true. If I can put the cruise control on to like 55, 60, and if it'll more or less hold true. The wind plays a big part in moving one way or the other. Like I've literally had my phone up here and it'll pull to one side just because my phone's up there. And if I take my phone off, all of a sudden it won't pull to one side just because the phone catches the wind enough on the bars to do it. Like I said before, it was pulling to the right. Now it's going perfectly straight. And if I put my phone back up, like I said, it pushes it back just a little bit so it wants to pull to the right. You just got to be aware of that. One of those little nuances that you don't think about, but it's there. It's like just enough wind catches it to put a little bit of pressure on the bar, which just turns the tire that way, which makes the bike fall over that way. And, uh, it drove me nuts for a minute, and then I figured it out. Like I said, minor, very minor adjustments can cause uh, pretty big results on these bikes. That's like I literally, uh, like I said on the front motor mount, like I undid it a half turn because I was really close to being correct, so I lengthened it out a half turn on the threads, and we'll see if that's good enough. I really, I'm gonna need to do like a wheelie see if it pulls the pulls to one side or not it's been pulling to the right which means it was a little bit short so uh, I need to see if it uh, if it'll hold straight or if it's gonna pull one way or the other looks like we might be able to get a good one here in a second good there I really need to get some better uh, some better rear motor mounts I'm still running the stock ones at like almost 80,000 miles yeah, and um, yeah, it's probably where most of my uh, play is coming from Especially I got the A1 swing arm, so I did take them off and they kind of probably have gotten a little bit worn. Need to at least look into that or get some bushings or whatnot. I have never taken the front motor mounts off, so I'll probably just leave them because uh, the rubber's probably hardened up a little bit. And it probably isn't going to move a whole lot in the front motor mounts. The only thing that's going to move on them. I would almost rather have a rigid mount, but you need the adjustability for the drive line alignment on these bikes. I don't know if you can see, but uh, the headlights in the truck reflection up there. I said the one on the, uh, the left is the Harbor Freight, and the one on the right is the, uh, the Baja. Or the yellow is the Harbor Freight, the white's the Baja. Believe it or not, the wiring's the exact same on both of them. So if you plug the Harbor Freight line, we'll add into a Baja harness, it'll just work. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty straight and smooth. I think I, I, think I got the alignment about, about dialed in. Like I said, I'm running full aftermarket suspension. like. So I run all pro action. I've been extremely happy with it. Um, it's been great. The front fork kit's probably like probably the best value mod you could possibly do for the bike. Um, as far as just making it making it a lot better. Uh, the fork kit ain't but like 325, and uh, it's super easy to install. been very uh, very happy with it lots of wheelies lots of hard riding and then of course I got the little uh, the preload adjusters on it so um, I can really fine tune it down it'd be nice to have compression to rebound but for 325 bucks what you get is extremely good the valving is pretty much spot on 
I'm running my front end a little bit soft right now. Like I said, if you watch the forks, it gets a lot of dive. But that's mostly just so I can help. When I really throw it into a corner, it'll plant. Plant and pivot. I, I probably need to add just a, like another like a quarter turn to preload back to it, but having it be a little bit soft has been kind of fun. It's been uh, very comfortable riding around. Like I run the back just a little bit on the on the snug side. I run a little bit extra preload on the back. I like a lot of times like I'll throw the tour pack on, and I don't necessarily want to swap back and forth. So like when I'm riding solo. Uh, I just run the shocks a little harsh because of that. Like right, I said, my whole front brake setup is uh, all aftermarket now. Custom user lines. Um, I got the uh, Nissan calipers I have four pistons and uh, they've they, they really really work and uh, like I said I got the ABS bypass on the front I just plugged the holes and left it full of fluid left the ABS on the rear brake because uh, I like my brake hold see won't move won't do nothing and then I can creep and it'll turn off so I still have the hill assist on the rear just not the front anymore and um, there's like no information out on that. I had to figure that out myself. And then of course for the main um, line from the master, it's like a proprietary bolt, so I had to weld the end of it shut. It was just a lot of uh, annoying stuff. Well, that could have been bad. Might need to ski daddle. in my life I'm pretty happy I did not pop a wheelie Anticipating on coming here anyway, so not a big deal. Just to be on the safe side, though. Go ahead and uh, act incognito. See y'all in a bit. Alrighty, we're back. We seem to have. Uh, survived unscathed now I'm gonna try to go slide over old Parker's barbecue get me a barbecue sandwich
Cadillacs like eh, I hate cars that go wide like it's, it's all illegal like I said I don't know which lane you're going in because uh, you're supposed to supposed to go on the closest lane and then merge over You know, nobody, uh, front brake so good. I need to stiffen up the forks just a smidge. I didn't even go in the first. Here, I gotta crack the helmet a little bit. I can't, this helmet gets stuffy. tacos mm. but if I get tacos I won't be able to eat before I go in yeah hard choice or I could not get anything at all and just go to work that might be the move Thousand miles, 80th K. We did it. Glad I caught that on camera. 80,000 miles on the dot. Can we get 80,000 in one? come up to the stoplight it sounds exactly how I would plan it whatever reason like I always hit the mileage marks like right at a certain point it seems like it's always like like pre-planned or whatever I don't know it's weird oh Wilson stereotype Two guys and one girl, and the girl's always driving. Cop check. working on that that's mainly the main thing I want to get out
I may have to just change the motor mounts. That, that's that's my theory because it's like I mean I haven't changed them at all. They're technically a wear item, just like everything on this bike is a wear item. I have yet to really see like anything that is not a wear item on a bike. It just it just is what it is. That was a decent wheelie. That was pretty smooth. Like I think I'm really close to getting this dialed in. Much as I would like a barbecue sandwich, I think I'm going to just be uh, irresponsible and not eat before work. Ah, being a menace to society. For whatever reason, it's just really satisfying. I love it. circuit or whatever just kind of feel it out your helmet and you can't get to it at the moment it's like the worst dodge the squirrel 
Ever since uh, the folks up in New York killed that squirrel, I've seen a lot of squirrels. They're coming out of the woods just looking at it. I said, I guess they're gonna try to cause as much chaos as they can in revenge. At least that's uh, that's my theory. riding in a minute but, well I had plenty on the trip so I guess that kind of uh, cancels out it's a boat I need to go fishing out here again Looks kind of full. I could probably get my boat in there. That'd be tight. Really need to get like a little John boat. I got a kayak that's perfect for going in there. Little gun store, little shooting range. Nice little boat set up. Get a couple of them clutchless shifts. Yeah, it may just be my front end's a little soft. Yeah, that's what that's where that little wobble's coming from. They're coming out in the corner of the front end when I let off the gas a little bit, it compresses. I need to tighten that front end up just a just a bit. That's where it's that little bit of wobbles coming from. That's good. That means I may have that last adjustment on the swing arm may have been exactly what I needed. That was mainly the uh, the goal on my ride today is just figure out um figure out what what's causing the bike to do that. Should we jump it? Woo! Look at that jump. Get a little air. I used to love hitting that on the sport bikes. You get some serious air off of that. Always fun being a being a menace. Wow! Somebody really cleaning that spot up. No, nope, no trains. Lots of cotton. They, they planted a lot of cotton this year. Um, they do a pretty good job on the crop rotation. This year, there's been a lot of cotton. Um, more so than in the past. Like I said, there's been there's a good bit of soybeans and they, they had a lot of corn where I lived. Which I'm glad they harvested the corn because uh, riding home at night uh, in between cornfields is sketchy. You never know where the deer are going to pop out from. Ooh. I think I'm going to just take a. Uh, Instead of going back through town, we're gonna just slide around to the next exit, back up to Black Creek. Yeah, that 
that's it. The forks decompress. And uh, that's where my uh, issue is coming from. Not really issue, it's just, it is what it is. darn good honestly I'm getting a little bit of rear wobble there anyways I will see y'all later peace